give way to Christ. You are a shield about me. My glory, the lifter of my head. Sister, we are now. I cast you forth into outer darkness. We are now. Smoke blots out the sun. Because as some of you may already know, we have a female student in the class. As an observer, Sister Anne will be accompanying us on our rounds for the rest of the term. Now pay close attention. The nuances of our craft require active learning to truly understand. So, group one, let's descend into the mouth of hell, shall we? Even as a child, I knew it was more. More? I didn't have a name for it. Every night, she would come to my room. Sometimes she was my mother. And sometimes she wasn't. She'd comb my hair. She'd hum that song. She'd hurt me. And then she'd hold me and cry and say the voice inside her head made her do it. I'm so sorry, Anne. Abuse at the hands of someone you trust is... My mother wasn't capable of hurting me. She loved me. It was the thing inside her. She was possessed. I know it's unusual in this day and age to devote your life to something spiritual. Hey, good morning, Anne. But ever since my mother's issues, I've always felt a calling to help people. Natalie's parents believe that she is being possessed by some sort of evil entity. She's not as scary as she looks. She can hear you. You're my favorite person here. Us girls, we gotta stick together in this place. We have a female student in the class, only as an observer. 
Because as you know, women are strictly forbidden from performing exorcism. Female surgeons were once unthinkable. Somebody had to be the first. When you enter the room of the possessed, you are walking onto a battlefield. Strike terror, Lord, into the beast, now defiling this innocent child. I can't hear you. No! have a gift i'd like to teach her this relationship it's personal we all have a personal relationship with god not with god this feeling has followed me my entire life you got my invitation We've been waiting for you. Jackie Byer sets this movie apart from other movies. She's delivering a strong, well-crafted, multi-dimensional performance in a genre that has seen it all. And I think her performance and I think the character of Anne is a first. If you're a horror fan, this is sort of an integral viewing experience. The story of Sister Anne coming up against the patriarchy of the Catholic Church was really an interesting place to explore. And I really think that we wanted to show all the different dynamics when you're in such a male-driven world. And, and I think each character kind of had a different relationship with Sister Anne and a different way of expressing that patriarchy. The aspect of prejudice against women uh, was one that fascinated me from the beginning about the story, and it was something I wanted to explore, not something that we hit the audience over the head with, kind of in a, in a lecturing way or preaching way, but just in a way that was almost common sense to me. If you have someone who's willing to do the job and has the talent to do the job, because she's a woman, does that prevent her, does that negate her from being able to do it? In the church, as it stands now, it does. It was an excellent opportunity to take a look at what if we have this strong female protagonist that went through this journey. I think if we're using art to hold up a mirror to society right now and have a conversation, I think that's the conversation that this, this specific piece of art will evoke. I think people will talk about this. And so I'm, I'm, I'm proud of it in that way. You know, technically speaking, you're not the first female exorcist. So the first in seven centuries. I'll take it. <laughs>